we're going to discuss about line script page in entry point and user event script before load entry point function let's assume both of the scripts has been deployed on sales order record now let's say you're going to try to create a new sales order so when you request for a new sales order page the particular page gets loaded in your browser but in the back end the script should have been triggered right both the client script and the user event before load should have triggered so when it gets triggered now let's check that I have a client script deployed on my sales order record and the user event script before load has been deployed on the sales order record. Now let's say I am requesting for a new sales order page. Now my NetSuite application server receives this particular request and the NetSuite application server is going to perform some kind of basic permission checks. Let's say whether this particular role has access to this particular page or not. And once it is done, now the database loads your requested page to the server. In our server side, as you all know, user event is a server side script. So what is going to happen is this before load is going to trigger before the requested data is transferred to the client. So let's say you have some kind of functionality like adding a button or setting some default value in your user event before load. Those things get triggered here now. So once the user event gets triggered, now the requested data is being transferred back to client side. So since we have a client script page generated function, the new sales order page gets initialized in your browser. Once the page is initialized your client script page in it gets triggered now let's take a real example so whenever i try to create a new sales order page i want to see a button on this particular sales order page and also i want to default this customer so i have a client script page in it function here which is only one entry point and that actually sets the value for your entity record which is my customer record and the internal id of the customer value is 1777 and the customer name is so and so so I have this another function or entry point called as before load, which is a user event script. And I'm trying to use the form object to add the button. So the button says UE before load custom button. And this is a custom function which I'm going to trigger. Right now I don't have any custom function, but just for sake of providing some name, I just gave like this. So now I have deployed both my client script and the user event script on the sales. This is the client script where I have deployed it on sales order record. So this script has only one entry point function, which is page init function. And on the other hand, I have deployed my user event before load also. It's on the sales order record. So if I just go to my script, it just has only one entry point function. Now let's go back to sales order. Now let's say I'm going to request for a new page now. So let's say I'm going to navigate to transactions, sales and click enter sales order. Now I can see already the UE before load has been triggered. Nani? Okay, there is an error in the client script. So let's go back to our client script. So I should have referred the proper name. Let me upload this code back to NetSuite. So the issue is uh, I have referred a different parameter name here. So I am referring the actual parameter name now. So, and now let's request for one more time transaction sales and click on enter sales order. I can see the user event server side script has already triggered and the button has been added. Now our page needs should have triggered. And it should have set the customer now. I can see the customer is now set from my page in it.